having lived in Guatemala back in, in the late 60s and having seen this affliction, the challenges that these kids have, and recognizing that the government didn't offer them any help. You know, Roosevelt Hospital was a nice public hospital, but it didn't, couldn't accommodate all these people. And plus, they're up in the highlands. They're not in the, in the capital. So you realize that what we were doing, we were bringing a lifestyle to these kids that they deserved. And if we didn't do it, highly unlikely that they would ever have that. Or if we or other organizations like Austin Smiles didn't come, highly unlikely they would ever have that opportunity. And that's no child should grow up that way. That's, I mean, it's so it's just become, as my wife says, your passion was travel, now your passion is, is smiles. And she's just equally interested in what we're doing. And, and this is be really, smiles has become our, if you want to call it, foundation of choice.